Hey, welcome to Good Enough Painting. Today I'm going to be painting the uh, Primaris Librarian in a Space Wolf's theme. I uh, hope you like it, and uh, let's get to it. Alright, first thing that I wanted to do was to match the terrain that he already had attached to his feet from the model and I'm gonna make the base a concrete rubble type effect um, using rough gray pumice. Once applied, uh, I dipped my brush in water and lightly tapped it along the pumice to kind of smooth it out. And once dried, it should look something like this. All right, now I'm gonna prime the model in a really light gray with the camo pattern in mind for later on. And uh, I'm gonna start base coating all the armor panels in a shadow gray by Citadel. It's an older color, which uh, I don't have the newer one. I believe it's the Fang, but uh, it should be the same. I'm going with a Space Wolves theme, which I think you can tell from the thumbnail, but uh, just thought I'd throw it out there. Once you're done with all that shadow gray, I went over all the uh, light gray parts with a Ministrum gray. Um, I just don't want to be painting on top of primer whenever I start all the camo. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I just, I do it out of habit. Now while waiting for that gray to dry, I painted the entire base black, including the stones that he's stepping on, and then also the pistol grip that he has in the holster. Um, and now's a good time to tell you that I didn't miss uh, the face that's poking out. I painted this Cadian flesh tone. Um, it's just that his hand was in the way while I was painting it, so there wasn't a good angle. But uh, at this time, you could see the gas canisters being painted black as well on his face mask, so you can see his face. So I just wanted to mention it here. And now moving on to my favorite part of the model, uh, the camo coat that I painted. This was done using uh, three main colors. I used Storm Raven for Abaddon Black and Dawnstone. And um, I started out making just uh, vertical lines of Storm Raven fur and then connecting them with Abaddon Black and getting kind of thicker with uh, the lines of the Abaddon Black. And then with uh, Dawnstone, I would just tree branch the colors together using Dawnstone and I'm going to show you the entire uh, process. I, I don't want to skip it. I'm going to speed it up though. Uh, this is at 8x so if you want to you can you can slow it down and see the whole uh, every brush stroke if you wanted to. And uh, and I think this uh, this gives a pretty believable camo pattern. Um, I've done this once before on a scout model that I really enjoyed and I'm really happy with the turnout. And before I forget to mention, while I had that Storm Raven fur out, I painted the holster of his pistol and the uh, under vest that he has beneath his cloak, but it's not armor, so I just assumed it was a vest. Next, you're going to want to pull out Rhinox Hide and Ushapti Bone. We're going to be doing the belt and the book attached to the belt uh, and Rhinox Hide, and then the pages of the book and the parchment attached to the belt and Ushapti Bone. And next up will be the metallics. Uh, I kept this really simple, um, pretty much painted everything that was in the metallic a, a silver color. I use bolt and metal, which is the equivalent of uh, Iron Breaker, I think, and uh, painted on everything. The sword, all the skulls, uh, and all the buckles and uh, straps and tubing that are all over the model. Um, and then with a bit of gold, uh, which I used Vallejo's bronze, uh, funny enough which I, f I find is my favorite gold. Uh, I went back in and painted only the skulls and uh, the trim of the uh, shoulder pad. And then also the, uh, I don't want to say lettering, but the uh, embossed design on the sword, I painted this gold as well. Uh, 
Uh, before I get on to the wash step, I forgot the uh, cords attached to a sword, or cables, I guess. I painted these with corn red. Um, yeah, and then uh, I came back in with uh, null oil and painted the entire model with this. I made sure to not let this pool at all. Um, make sure that you have a damp brush if you're wicking anything away. And uh, you should come out all right. All right, and once all that wash is dried, uh, come in with a blue ink to get that two-tone effect on the sword. I chose the lower edge of the sword to do this on, just because it made sense as far as shadows are concerned. And uh, once that is dried, I did a, a quick dry brush of the bulk gun metal on top, and it came out looking pretty good. I, I'm not an expert on making the swords look amazing, but uh, I really like the effect that I got here. And as far as highlights are concerned, I went relatively simple. I did a uh, Fenrisian Grey on all the uh, blue armor panels, and a uh, Skag Brown on the leather of the book. I did a quick dry brush of Ushapti Bone on top of the parchment just to take away some of the black that I put on there from the wash. And I dry brushed a little bit of uh, Dawnstone on the holster. Now for one of my favorite parts of the model, but first you're going to need to turn on the fan, open up a window, and uh, put on a mask or something to cover your face. We're going to be working with resin. So what I did was I mixed uh, two part epoxy resin and uh, a couple of drops of white ink. I mixed this together thoroughly and applied it to the base and allowed it to dry it overnight. This is going to help with that melted snow effect. Once dried, I applied some PVA uh, to the unsnowed areas to just put some like fallen leaves or some foliage without like having to put like clump foliage down. And then um, once that dried, I came in with PVA glue and uh, watered down just a little bit and applied a thin layer over the old uh, flocking and then also on top of the, the resin that I used and I applied the uh, snow flocking to this. Um, I used the brand Woodland Scenics and uh, by itself it's not believable but with the resin on bottom and the snow flocking on top and kind of spread out around it gives a really uh, convincing uh, melted snow effect. Alright and that about wraps it up. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm uh, super excited for 9th and updating all my old tactical marines and um, I'm pretty much just updating my entire Space Wolves army. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'd love to hear back any feedback that you have or any questions I'd be happy to answer. Um, I'll see you next time and don't forget, you don't have to be perfect. Just good enough. Alright, see ya. Da 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 my mama talking to me trying to tell me how to live da 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 da, da.